Reno's acting police chief, Steve Pitts, updated the council on plans to enhance graffiti abatement efforts. The council added the issue to the agenda after residents testified at the last meeting that graffiti is getting out of control. The citizens offered to form a volunteer group to help remove graffiti. Pitts told the council he is looking into engaging citizens groups as was done effectively back in 2005. I, I think we could, we could probably use um, territorialism with respect of looking at businesses in those geographical areas that, that may provide services uh, to customers in those areas and get them to partner with us. I mean, that, that, that's a great idea. Instead of just saying, hey, citywide, who wants to help? I mean, get those coalitions in the neighborhoods like we did in 05 and, and build a, a business group that is attached to those coalitions. Pitts is looking into replacing one of the graffiti trucks that was given to the Washoe County Sheriff's Department. He's asked the SAVE officers if they would consider volunteering 40 hours a week to removing low-angle non-gang graffiti. Pitts has also asked Washoe County Sheriff Mike Haley to designate a staff person to full-time graffiti removal. Right now, the city has one graffiti removal truck, which is being operated by one full-time employee. Another member of the graffiti removal team is out on medical leave. The city also has plans to use federal neighborhood revitalization funds to purchase equipment and supplies for graffiti removal.